We're back here at Jeweler, at Jeweler Promotions, No Mercy 10, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, Kent Freeman Arena. This is Jeremy Bjornberg, uh, one of the owners of Driller, along with Brian Hadeen, the top local heavyweight. Um, Brian, you know we've had an interesting night of fights here. Uh, tons of guillotines, too many for too many to count. Now we get a little into the pro, pro part of the card, the co-main event. Um, Jamie Cross Simmons, a uh, Wisconsin State Wrestling Champion, 3-1 and now as a pro. Uh, we'll take on Terrence Allman from Omaha, 6-5. and five. Um, Both guys real tough 135ers. I'm looking forward to seeing how this fight plays out. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, probably a lot I would expect to be a little more different than those amateurs. You know, I don't think you're going to see that many guillotine chokes. I've lost all faith, Brian. <laughs> I don't blame you. Jamie's uh, actually uh, a former drill. Sorry. James is a former driller, uh, 35 pound champion, is an amateur. Um, fought some real tough guys uh, for us in the past. Excited to have him back as a pro. Yeah, definitely it's got to be a good feeling seeing these guys who amateur and then have them as a pro. On it is, part. Brian. You know what? Almost every champion we've had uh, moved on to something, you know, um, uh, bigger. And um, our pro champions. Notorious over the years have always wanted to something big, you know, like, yep. um, you know, be it, you know, back in the day, a lot of guys went to Bellator. Uh, we had a few fights where fighters were guaranteed to go into Bellator if they won. And um, now, obviously, the LFA is uh, lots of good LFA opportunities have happened too. Um, you know, we, we Maurice Green actually jumped from uh, Jewelry Champion to uh, the UFC. Yes, he did, yep. Yeah, definitely when uh, after he won that. That interim heavyweight belt, me and him were in line to fight, but I knew after he got that he wasn't going to be around. <clears throat> I talked uh, to him afterwards, and he said it too, and Brock said it. And said, I knew. Yeah, he uh, had an interesting uh, time on The Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you watched it, but... No, I watched it. He surprised me a little bit. But, well, Brian, what, what would that be like? I mean, uh, it's such a sacrifice to not have you bring around your family and... Um, you know, like that, it's got to be tough. It definitely would be tough. You know, I believe those guys are allowed no phone, no TV. I mean, you're just there to train and interact. And what do you expect those people to do? Of course, they're going to drink. ton about Terrence Allman, but uh, Nebraska, you know, always puts out tough guys. Oh, definitely. A lot of wrestlers out there. I'm sure he's got a wrestling background.
here we go. Co-main event. No Mercy 10. Two top 135 pounders about to get it in. Now, James has a very strong wrestling background, as we mentioned. Wisconsin State Champion, I believe. And uh, don't know a ton about Terrence, but he looks up to the task here physically. Props to Disorderly Conduct Management for sending him out. I wonder how much Terrence cuts, because he's awfully built for a 35 pounder. For sure. He didn't seem like struggled at the weigh-ins either, but he seemed big. When he showed up, I wasn't sure who he was. He didn't look like a 35er. <laughs> no, definitely not. Jamie did well at 45, too, so he's a strong guy. You know, he's not going to... The size probably won't bother him. Keep him flat, Jamie. Keep him flat. Get in there. Get in there. Stay on top. Oh, boy. Not another, you know, it doesn't have that one tied in yet. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stomach to see another guillotine. No. I need to see Terrence get away here. I want to see what he can do with his hands here. He's doing okay with the wrestling so far, too. Yep. <laughs> uh, nice wide base there. Good. Tell you what, though, those inside knees, they, uh, they definitely hurt. Do they? Oh, God, yeah. Especially after the fight or the next day, you can hardly walk. Yeah, big guy, 270 pounds, six foot five foot nine. Oh, yeah. You've had done. Oh, yeah. I use that a lot, too. Younger years of fighting. Yeah, better than just standing there, you know? Yep. Yeah, he's got an elbow now. Throws. Oh, his finger's caught in the glove. Did he break his finger? Uh-oh. Something happened here. Oh, I think he got his thumb caught in the glove there. He might have broke it. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's the first time I've seen something like that. We've had enough 30-second fights tonight. Oh, looks like he might be okay here. He's not grimacing. It was stuck in there good, though. Yeah, it was. All right, now here's the chance for Terrence here. I want to see what he can do. Well, now he's grimacing a little bit. Oh, yep. It's curious if he was going to do that or not. Hopefully, it doesn't bother him. No. Hit a Kamara here. I think right now James is wanting to do it. Uh oh. He's got it behind him right now. Just there he goes. Terrence isn't a slouch on the ground. No. He's coming for an elbow. Elbow. Hey, Turk. Hey, let's see that Turk. Let's flatten him up with that Turk, Jamie. Good, good. James is doing a good job of controlling him. Oh, yeah. Now he's landing a couple elbows to the side. Working oh, that body. Landing some good shots there. Ones are getting through. Terrence is kind of froze here. Yeah. Almost doesn't seem like he knows how to get up here. Cross face and flatten him out. Cross face and flatten him out. There you go. Get it back to the cage and do walk up now. Yeah. Oh. Nice Again, elbow, yeah. nice elbow. Terrence really struggling here to get up. He's just kind of frozen. Yeah. Sure what to do. Uh, I don't know if he got a little tired or maybe a thumb is hurting him pretty bad. But uh, he's letting Jamie do a lot of damage from top here. Mainly to the body, but he has some nice time elbows to beat on him up right top. Now, Jamie. Those definitely add up over, over time here. 
Oh. I don't Elbow. know if Terrence feels comfortable here or he just doesn't know how to get up off his back here. You know, he was going for submissions earlier, but he's not making any attempt to really do anything no. here. Chalk in for position here, and Terrence is in the spot. But yeah! Yeah! It's there! It's there! I'm not sure what Terrence is thinking here. He's going to have to. Yes, sir, do something here. Otherwise, nothing more than a punching bag right now. Yeah, this now this punch him up his back. Uh oh. There he goes. If it's there, it's there. Soften him up some more. Wait till him to stick his neck out. I bet he's going to hit a guillotine choke here. A rear naked, I should say. Now he's got yeah, Terrence flattened out here. Fight. I mean, get that hey, other Jay, leg in, flatten him out, just explode. He probably win this fight here. Keep that wrist in him. Okay, here we go. Oh, Fill no, him out on. now. Yeah. yeah, Terrence isn't even trying here. He's just laying flat. I don't know if he's exhausted or what. Yeah, I'm not really sure. He was so, he was so uh, bouncy and then... Uh, Earlier, now it looks yep. like Jamie's going to go for a, maybe potentially go for an armbar here. Yeah. Or uh, like, leg. No. It's the round. Well, I don't know what happened. I hope his thumb's okay. I think that might. I don't know if that is a factor or. I don't know. But he seemed to have a lot of the steam or the wind taken out of him. So out of him. Yeah. Or like we talked about earlier, you know, how much weight did he cut? Very true. Yes. Terrence definitely is tired trying to catch his breath here. Curious how this round two is going to go. Um, you know, like I said, the first half, you know, of that round went went well, and then it just really, really took a took a dive. Uh, you know, for Terrence, hopefully, can get back into this. Definitely. James put a lot of pressure on him and put a lot of a uh, lot of uh, damage done. Um, Really dominate him in the gun. I guess if I'm Jamie, I'm going right back to that, huh, Brian? Definitely, yep. Terrence definitely has to do something here to stop this takedown. happens sometimes you get these guys on the ground and they get that sweat wiped up and slip and fall on your face looks like Terrence about to go for a ride here oh yeah so if he brings him to his coach's corner here Deflect off the cage, Brian. Yeah, you know, I've never seen that. WWE move. Hey, pull him off the grid. Let's see if he can try to get a head arm choke here. Yes, yes. Body shot. Ooh. Drag him off the fence. You know, what is Terrence, if anything get out of push off the cage, explode, you know? Get him off balance. Yeah, I don't know if he lost him some of his explosion, uh, hey, you know, getting pounded on round one, but yeah. towards the end of the first round, he just seemed to lose a lot, lose a lot of his uh, esteem. Definitely. Left knee to the body. Oh, give him another one. James isn't making it easy to get up either, and I think that's really frustrating for Terrence. 
Now he's in mount here. Hit him! Hit him. Yes! Oh elbow! Drop an elbow! Good! Push that elbow and drop yours! Explode with his uh, push off the fence here. You probably get James off balance here and get out of this. Huh? Uh oh. James might have a, tri has a triangle locked in here. Uh, I don't know how tight that is. He's getting it tight right now. He's getting loose. He's going to probably pull on the head here. Looks like oh. James is for a ride. Oh. Terrence seems fine right now, but... Uh, yep. It's kind of allowing uh, James to keep tightening it and turning it. Yep. Jamie, control his head! Yes! Terrence is going to stack him up here. Try to straighten the arm here. What do you want to do here, Brian? Be ready to wrestle. Be ready to wrestle. Looks like he can slip Set out a, almost. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah, is. Okay, he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. So Dan was grabbing that leg there where Terrence really you know, he could try to spin out of it the opposite way there, but he couldn't do it. Now he's just sitting here. I mean, Jamie, get his ankles. There he goes. Oh, went a little high. Yeah, went too high. Top, top, top. He's, yeah, he just looks exhausted. Drive through. Top, top. There you go. Now this is where he's got to be. He's got to explode here. He's got to start working and try to get this round. Yeah, he used to strengthen that foot. This is size there. Hey, we got a minute. It's very content though, Brian, to take a nap here. Yeah. He's gonna to want to get some damage done here. He's behind, you know, on points. Definitely, he's, a, he's in a good spot. Jamie looks, James looks a tad tired too. Definitely warming up, James here. Hey, here's a sweep we like. Here's a sweep we like. Overhook the butterfly. Overhook the butterfly. I'm surprised the ref doesn't stand him up here. Yeah, I mean, and Terrence is in a, finally in a good spot. He's not not able to not able to not take advantage. No, definitely not. One minute, Simmons. One minute. Some big gas right there. Hey, we're finishing this round. I mean, he could definitely, you know, definitely elbow James here. You know, get him cut. You know, yeah, you know, you want to get some damage. I mean, um, right now is you know, both guys are taking a little bit of a rest. Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, I have something here. Oh, uh, Jamie, get up! Nope. Get hooked! Oh. Hey, pull it to your face! It's going to be painful here if he gets it. Pull it to your face! Hey, pull it hard to your face! Jamie, pull it to your face! Pull it to your face! Try your hands! They're both going to try their hand. Yeah. Yeah. Look. The double figure four leg lock, Brian. Always <laughs> devastating in WWE. Oh, yeah. It's like we're going to come to a standstill here. Hold your face! <laughs> I believe that's another round for James. Round three should be interesting now. Both guys are very tired. Yep. I don't know if Terrence has enough in him right now to do anything, but he, he that roundy, you know, the he had his moments. He just wasn't able to capitalize. Yeah, he, he looks exhausted here. He's still he trying to catch his breath. Jamie, uh, Jamie looks tired too, so this would be yep. a very interesting round. But James is probably up to zero. Um, yeah, definitely. Could have Mayweathered him right there. Yeah, right. She probably would have. <laughs> I think Terrence just wanted a little bit more time to breathe. You know what yeah. I mean? Right? Here's where I want my take down. Right here. Circle away from the choke. So for the choke. I don't think he's gonna get it though. No. Nah. 
Yeah, it's round three, you're, you're, you're tired, it's, it's, you're oily, you're full of sweat. Yeah. It's a tough time to get it, but he might, I don't know, Jamie's, okay, no, Jamie Kuska, James gets out, of course. He just rolls to his back. Oh, I don't know if Terrence is going to be able to get out of this. Oh. Full mile with, with all that energy in you, Brian. It's, you, know, you really yeah. can't do much. It's a very lonely place in there when you're tired. Yeah. You got a wrestler uh, who knows how to use his weight. You yep. Know. Positioning. Yeah, I can see James ending this here because Terrence. Zero uh, action in Terrence's legs, Brian. Yeah. You know what should he be doing now? Is bucking like a like a wild bronco, or what do you recommend here? Try shrimping out, pushing yeah. off the hips, pushing off the one of the legs. You know, try to get it. Oh wow, wow! I didn't see that coming. No. Now he's got to work. He's got to know that he's down two rounds. Yeah, I think his body's just not, you know, his, his energy level isn't quite cooperating like he wants. No, no, I mean, James has got his, his uh, right leg there. I mean, push down, step over. No? Both guys just battling exhaustion. Uh, Jamie's, but James Cross is battling. Simmons is battling a little bit better. Um, Terrence has been tired since, since the end of round one, and just the grappling I think got to him. Yep. But he's, you know, he's still gotten out of position. Gotten his, he's gotten, uh, you know, on top and 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 uh, in, in good positions, but he's just not been able to capitalize or have the energy to do any damage. Well, I know in that first round, James, he's really attacking the body. Especially on the ground there, you know, those body shots might have took something out of Terrence. You know, you're right. There was there was some nice. Uh, there was knees to the body, elbows yep. to the body, punches to the body. Both these guys <laughs> they're really yeah. going for a finish. They're just trying to get through the round at this point. Yeah, the uh, the action has, has came to a stall. I wish the ref would probably stand him up here. Uh, yeah, I mean. We didn't see anything on the feet here. No. I think Terrence lost his explosion here. Uh, just the fight, like you said, the body work in round one. Yeah. And the overall just, you know, grappling lesson that has happened here. And Jamie kind of gets back position here. He can land some good shots here. Terrence trying to tie his arms up. Yeah, these guys are just definitely grinding each other out here. Yeah, it's turned into a uh, wrestling match. Yep. They're going to sleep good tonight, both of them. It reminds me of like when you, you beat up your old younger brother, you, you, you know, you're, you're just <laughs> Make him stuffing name. his face into everything, and you're not hitting him too much, but... Uh, Getting on top of him, make him name James, candy bars. <laughs> James still with the dominant, you know, three-round performance, probably going to win this 30-27. Yeah, easily, you know, it could be 30-26, you know, I mean... That's true. Just trying to get him here. Nothing more exciting than battling leg locks, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of those. Well, here we go. You know, um, an even fight. Uh, James just had the advantage in grappling and took advantage of it. Yeah. Pretty confident here. James is going to go four and one. And I'll drop Terrence to six and six. Good test for uh, James. Um, he passed here. I wouldn't say with flying colors, but I would say you know pass well. Yep. He has to work obviously in his cardio and finishing ability, but uh, overall, but it's still a dominant performance over a, a tough you know physically tough opponent. Definitely.
both guys are going to sleep well tonight. Oh, yeah. They'll be snoring. They're definitely going to be snoring in the morning. They're going to need a few ibuprofen. Yeah, I mean, uh, props to Terrence for hanging in there. Yeah. Um, you know, he had, a, he had a tough couple of rounds, but he... Uh, you know, like I said, he, he always, he, you know, he's still looking at that thumb a little bit, um, but he, he, didn't, he didn't make any excuses and he didn't uh, even consider quitting. So, definitely got a big heart on him. Definitely. I mean, yeah, you know, props to Terrence. He was exhausted, he was tired, but he didn't quit. He gutted it out. Some guys would just roll over and let the ref stop it. <laughs> 